guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have the Fit Batch Diary or Alexis. And we are answering your questions about sex and this is the ones that have come from the males on my Instagram. How many times have you had sex? How are you supposed yeah. to count how many times? I was literally have my answer of I have no idea. Yeah, there is there's no way you can actually like calculate how many times you have had sex. That's wild. Not, <laughs> not enough times. <laughs> I love my girlfriend so much, but I wish she was less shy and more confident, like mm. you. So any tips? I feel like you just have to make sure that you take things slowly and like you're saying the right things to her to make her feel comfortable in those situations, because just like being like from my experience if you're with a guy who is saying things that make you feel uncomfortable then you like kind of close off and you become more reserved whereas when if you're with a guy who's like not praising you but is like yeah. complimenting you and like giving you like all the positive feedback then like you become more confident in yourself and like you're more op open to do more yeah same sense. for me really if she feels unconfident then you have to try and make her feel confident by obviously being kind to her. I think maybe she feels unsure of whether you're making her feel good or whether she's making you feel good. So being able to be open with your partner and have a discussion, like talk to her in a nice way and say, hey, you did good today. Yeah. <laughs> also normalize it because if it's yeah. something that you guys don't talk about normally, then it's always going to be awkward to like talk about and discuss. But if you normalize the conversation, then that'll also help, I feel. Try to make her feel confident. I'm happiest when the girlfriend, my girlfriend and me both orgasm, but have been accused of keeping score. What are your thoughts? <laughs> keeping score. I know. I don't even know what that means, keeping score. I know what that means, keeping score. So like how many orgasms this girl had? Oh. I feel like I've been through that before. For me personally, it's a turn off. If someone is like, how many is that now? You're like, well, can you just be in the moment yeah, just and enjoy the experience rather than asking me? So my thoughts are don't keep score, just let it happen. Yeah, I honestly, that's never happened to me, so I don't know. Do you judge men? I'm gonna say a little bit about this person that wrote this. In general, or Do like you in judge the men in general. Well, I guess. I mean, sometimes I guess, based off of like how they act around other people and how they treat other people, I would judge them. Yeah, so it's I mean, really it's not good to judge, but no, it just happens. I try, I try not to judge men. I try to live a very judgment-free lifestyle as much as I can. However, the person that asked me this question about ten minutes after he asked this wrote to me and says, "Can I give you an orgasm?" and one, that's rude and something that you shouldn't be asking. No. And two, he's about 55, 60 years old. Oh, well, that's gross. So yes, I will be judging this person. And the reason why I'll be judging them is to say he probably has a wife, maybe. Yeah. He probably has children that are about my age, sisters. And I just feel like it's, it is fine to judge a man and say no, Yeah. out of my life. But usually, I don't judge men until they give me a reason to judge them. <laughs> this is really random slash weird, okay. but what is dick supposed to smell like? I mean, ideally nothing. Yeah. Like if, if there's a smell, that means you're either not clean or you've like sprayed something on it to try and make it smell good, which would not be good for your area. Yeah, so, so nothing. Just, just like skin. Yeah, it shouldn't really smell like anything. Keep it yeah. clean, guys. It's better. What's the best position for a woman during sex? So this one really just varies based on A, the woman, the way her like uterus and everything is set up, and then the guy and the, the length, the size, the shape, everything. Because there is, I was seeing a guy at one point who, uh, basically almost in every single position except one, the way it was curved literally felt like I was being punched in the stomach. Like it was the most painful experience ever, but then I was with people who were bigger than him, smaller than him, whatever, in the same positions, and it felt totally fine. So it really just varies. Your best position can change depending on who your partner is and sort of how you are. Sex can be like very different. Some sex is super loving and passionate, and you might want to be in positions where you're more intimate and kissing and close, or sometimes you're not after that kind of sex. If you want it a little the rough bit like positions. rougher, <laughs> then doggy is probably good. But again, yeah. it can sometimes hurt the stomach when the boy gets a bit too excited. And for me, my best position for satisfaction and orgasms is me being on top, but it does feel good in a lot of other ways. 
just like Alexis says, it depends on what penis <laughs> is inside you. <laughs> Literally, it does. Okay, anal sex thoughts. I mean, it's not for everyone, but if you're if you're willing to try it, go for it. Like, I don't think it's a bad thing to do. I think it's good to keep things exciting in the bedroom, try new things. Okay, for me, it's a no go just because it feels more than good enough for me in the vagina yep. it just creeps me out a little bit <laughs> and i imagine it will be wildly painful but i have many friends who love it i just wouldn't me personally how do i tell my wife i'm not satisfied sexually i mean just to come out right and say it if that's the kind of relationship you have could work but if it's something that she's going to get like offended by or feel insecure about you could just casually try and like initiate new things to do in the bedroom that you think would satisfy you. Yeah, I think like maybe turning it to a positive yeah. rather than saying you don't satisfy me anymore or our sex isn't satisfying. Maybe try and create like something positive happening in the bedroom like when you're doing something new like oh I was thinking about doing this today and it like made me feel really happy rather than objectify sex. Yeah. Because otherwise she's going to probably feel a little, I would feel a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. A little shitty if someone was like, Sorry. you're not good enough. No, you can try. Rather than like, you're not good enough, you're not doing enough. Maybe, should we try this? Because you're just going to add new things and yeah. see how you both like it. Also ask her, is she, is she fully satisfied? Cause yeah, because she if, might not be either and also could yeah. just be scared to say something. If one of you aren't satisfied, the likelihood is the other one isn't, isn't either. as well. Yeah. If you're having good sex, you know, both of you. Yeah. What kind of protection do you use now? Always a condom, always. I am not interested in risking any sort of STD. Also, even though we are tra cycle tracking, Yeah. I'm still not interested in risking any sort of pregnancy at this stage in my life, so. Okay, so for me, when I was with Wes, we obviously didn't use condoms because I'd been with him for five years and we trusted each other as partners and as protection from pregnancy. I use my natural cycle, but if you're a man and you're sleeping with multiple women, then definitely use a condom. And if you are a man who is scared of making your girlfriend pregnant, then obviously use a condom. And obviously yeah. STDs are massive for condoms. But if it's for natural cycles, I think it's, I'm trying to encourage men to sort of go through the cycle with their women now. So you can both be in charge of the protection from pregnancy if that isn't what you're after at the minute. Also, not a very popular one, but you could always just pull out, like... Oh yeah, you can pull it's out. It's always an option. <laughs> yeah. My you... friend got pregnant from putting out. Really? Oh shit. I guess the man didn't really pull He's out properly. nine years old. Well, nothing's 100% protection. From yeah, that I know. Oh, I don't believe it. Yeah? I don't believe it. You don't believe it? No. My friend literally got pregnant. Not from pre -cum. The boy obviously got a little bit excited and didn't, and didn't pull, pull it all out really, before yeah. he was shoot. You know they shoot a few times not just one shot so maybe he did one shoot and then he pulled out, out and <laughs> shooted it in what are your thoughts on still being a virgin or haven't been in a real relationship at an age of 19 plus I think you should turn it into a positive to be honest like the relationship thing happens when you meet someone who you're willing to be in a relationship with like there are a lot of work and there's a lot of sacrifices and compromise so unless you actually meet someone who you're willing to make those sacrifices and compromises with or for then you're not going to be in one. Like for me, for 100%. instance, I've had a lot of situationships, but I've never had a long-term serious relationship because honestly, I just can't be bothered. Like none of the people have made me want to do that. And with the virgin situation, when you do finally meet someone, if it's the right person, they're going to be totally understanding about it. I mean, you could, if you don't want to be a virgin anymore, just like do the typical guy thing and like when I stand it, someone. yeah. Sex, when you're, when you're a virgin, or I remember like the first time I was having sex, it's, yeah. it seems like, a huge thing but you have really. to remember this is what we were created to do yeah. so it's something that is you can't really do it wrong no I feel you, there's ways uh, to make it feel better but yeah you, but you like, can actually do it wrong you're not gonna get it wrong so don't be scared about it and do not run it rush into a relationship uh, I've done that a few times in my life don't do that 19 year old virgin whatever doesn't matter yeah if you meet you I think girl might quite see that as a nice thing yeah. to know Actually. that you haven't been putting it about and like make her feel super yeah. special that she's the one that you're actually happy to take your 
sex to yeah. the next level with. Yeah, there's there's definitely girls who appreciate it. Like this is gonna be very North American of me to say, but on the last season of The Bachelor, <laughs> Colton, who was The Bachelor, actually was a virgin. And girls like flocked to him because of it. They loved it. So there yeah. will be people out there who don't judge you for it at all. So I wouldn't feel bad. Yeah, that, I think it's not a bad thing. Do you, and women in general, watch porn? Yeah, can do. I don't. It's not something that I do often. I do it like every once in a while. But I have friends who watch it all the time. Like they love it. Yeah. I just think that women, we get flagged a lot for doing these kinds of things. Like people hate on us for it. So not a lot of women actually talk about it. I think a lot of us, like a lot more than you think, do. Yeah. I think that I watched it once or twice when I started having orgasms, just to because they are so different. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to make sure that everyone else was also <laughs> experiencing the same kind of thing as me it's not really something that turned me on or anything yeah. but I feel like it's because I've always kind of been in a relationship for the majority of my life so I've always had that sex yeah. contact can be good for learning though and yeah new ideas yeah but also don't boys if you're watching it don't assume that girls always like it how yes. it's done in the porn scenes that is very scripted and very <laughs> extravagant sometimes yeah. and wild <laughs> and it really isn't all about that for no. me all the time do you girls like it when you go down with lube and oils i've actually never done that me either i've never needed it so no i don't I've know never tried that third party and also i'm gonna add to that because i feel like the question might arise anyway i am not a fan really of being licked out gone down on really not really because yeah. i feel disconnected to mm. my partner fair enough literally yeah. for a, a few seconds and i'm like that's enough come up give me kisses let's actually mm. do this do the act for me it's about experience like together i'm the opposite i love it i mean i quite like giving a blowjob but <laughs> <laughs> i don't really don't really like that otherwise but a lot of my friends again do how long a man should last and from your experience, how long do they last? I feel like that also depends on the type of sex that you're having, but also your enjoyment level. Like I've had sex with guys where they've gone on forever and I've literally just been like, hey, like I'm what? so over this. Yeah. And that was maybe like 25 to 30 minute session, yeah. I'd say. Cause then also, if you take in the fact that you're penetrating the entire time, like it does get sore too. Yeah, But I, I feel like if I could put a time on a good amount of sex mm. from penetration, I'm gonna say like 10 to 15 minutes. That's what, literally what I was thinking, 10 to 15. Possibly less, I mean. You can get like a few different positions in that way. Yeah, and, then like... and if you're really in the moment with your partner and there's like, it's really slow and actually you're more enjoying just being together, yeah. then a it bit longer. longer. But if you're actually having sex, not that long guys no. don't it starts push. to hurt yeah do not push to make it longer <laughs> because you want to be able to do it the next day yeah not or a week or later. even maybe like an hour later yeah. yeah how can i try anal with my girl um probably start with either asking <laughs> yeah but i would not just start full send i would <laughs> i would work your way up <laughs> With like either like a finger or like different butt plugs and like slowly work sick. your way up to like yeah. sending this whole thing in. Also, that's just my guess. I don't know. This is this is my YouTube channel, so I'm gonna say my thoughts. What is the fascination with putting it up someone's ass? That's I don't disgusting. Know. I've never actually done it. Like it's I, just gross. Why do boys want to do that? <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I just it, can't get. I think my head what, I think it. one of the things they say is that it's meant to be tighter. So like it would feel better, but well, if your girl knows how to like work it. If your girl's doing a pelvic pelvic yeah, floor muscle exercises, exactly. you're you not going to need it. that. But I just can't imagine it being very enjoyable. Oral sex tips for guys. So I'm going to pass this one to you because... Because you don't like it. I, I think this also has to do with personal preference, but I don't really like it when they like focus less on the clit and more on like the area below it i oh, prefer I was actually gonna add I, something yeah yeah i prefer like just clit stimulation with the tongue and like sucking and like that sort of thing so when they stop and then they move down a little bit i'm just kind of like okay and i wait for them to move back up so i think you should a ask the girl that you're with what they prefer but b like just know that that is the bit that will get them off yeah clit clitoral stimulation is Huge. is 
is a winner. So I know this is oral, but we're gonna also go to fingering. Because they come together. Please, and... please do not act like a DJ and just like go like this, because it, it A, it starts to hurt. Yeah. Like it really does. If you think about rubbing something like this over and over again with pressure, like it fucking, yeah. like, yeah. So please just don't do that. Yeah, we should talk about that, because I don't know if there's any questions. Yeah, do not, do not do, be a DJ <laughs> and rub it too hard, because not nice. No. Get a bit more of a little motion going on. Yeah. And circular even. I like it when it when they <laughs> <laughs> I mean I don't know if I can say this. Well we I mean, can't just cut it out. No, go. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> <laughs> How awkward she's getting. <laughs> I like it when <laughs> they rub around for a bit out there go down and pull it come back up so it makes it nice and wet on mm. the fit yes that is that is key sensational yeah and then after a while if you rub in it's maybe gonna dry out a little bit i don't know so yeah you gotta do that, keep going do back that and again forth. yeah go like your wet clit stimulation yeah like you get wet for a reason you need that like extra yeah it's just gonna yeah. feel nice do you like small average or large dicks are we answering that one? Yeah. Okay. Do you like small average or large dicks? Um, just based off of the type of guy that I've been with in the past, I'm used to a little bit larger, but I have been with guys who are smaller and they've literally been like amazing. So I think just for my body personally, it has less to do with the length or like the girth and more to do with like the curve because the, the times it's been painful and like uncomfortable is when there's like a weird curve and it just hits me different. Yeah. But I actually don't think like the length or the, the girth has much to do with it. I think it's more so how you use it. Yeah, I think there's a quote or saying that it's not about the size of the wave, it's about the motion of the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's true. Large penises are exciting, <laughs> I guess, and feel good because you can, you can feel. But it's definitely about the way that you two are compatible. Yeah, that's So, true. like you said about the cervix being a different shape and stuff, like we are all different as much as the men are all different and I think it's really lucky when you find a guy that fits you just perfectly and that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be really big or really small it's like all of it that's going together it's like that's a puzzle gonna piece make, yeah it's just gonna slot together um because I think actually up there it is not very big for us no. so it does not have to be like too big is gonna hurt well, if they depends. don't put it in properly or yeah. if you're in certain positions. And yeah, some positions with the bigger ones are a little bit painful and they can't go in all the way, but it happens. Yeah. So size doesn't really matter too much. It's more about what you're doing with it. Yeah. How can a guy without any experience please a woman that had a lot of experiences?